In November of 2003, the Under Secretary of Defense, ATNL, directed and provided funding for Snow Aviation International Inc., SAI, of Columbus, Ohio, to complete its demonstration of its proprietary tip tank design on the wings of the C-130 aircraft. This video is a preliminary executive level summary of that program, whose four demonstration flights encompassing 7.5 flight hours concluded on 28 September. This demonstration proved the feasibility of replacing underwing pylons and tanks with newly designed wingtip mounted 512 gallon fuel tanks and provided initial indications of performance and aerodynamic benefits from the modification. A government furnished C-130E or H airframe was unobtainable, so SAI obtained a civil registered ex-Australian Air Force C-130A for the program. Ground vibration testing and weight and balance measurements established the C-130A baseline characteristics, whose structural archives Lockheed had transferred to the Warner Robins Air Logistics Center. Those data were not retrievable at Robins. An SAI possessed C-130A wing data were suspect due to Australian replacement of major wing components in 1971. So SAI derived the information it needed on structural properties and elastic responses. SAI also instrumented the test bed and flew three baseline flights to document the specific performance and flight characteristics of the test bed, N131EC, using profiles that would be flown after the modifications. Instrumentation of the aircraft for persistent HERC-2 included angle of attack and side slip, static and total pressure and temperature, 16 airflow pressure sensors per wing, sensitive accelerometers in the fuselage and tip tanks, and vertical gyros and GPS, as well as extensive tufting of outer wing lower surfaces and tip tank inner surfaces. External cameras recorded wing tip and tuft behavior and a cockpit camera recorded engine instrument readings. A sextant was used to measure wingtip deflections. After the baseline flights and before modification, SAI derived structural properties and wing weight distribution by comparison to documented characteristics of the C-130H wing. SAI engineers removed, weighed, and found the center of gravity of one of the C-130A's outer wing panels. The results of this weighing, along with the ground vibration test results, were used to calculate the baseline flutter characteristics of this 47-year-old C-130A with 11,000 flight hours since new. SAI prototype production personnel drilled out over 1,000 existing fasteners per outer wing and tip to provide tip-attached mounting holes and additional strength through larger fasteners to accommodate the 3,800 pounds of weight the tanks and their contents would add on the wingtips. In the course of these removals, it was found that work 33 years ago in Australia had compromised the strength of the right wing. This situation was corrected by the removal, oversizing, and replacement of an additional 400 fasteners. The specially designed tip tank attachment brackets were prepared for mating to the forward and rear spar webs by being back drilled with holes in exactly the same arrangement and configuration as the original wing fasteners which had been removed. Selected holes were oversized for larger fasteners to repair wear or to provide additional strength at critical attachment points. SAI engineers had designed special tip tank attach fittings to spread flight and taxi loads and stresses through several feet of wing tip structure. Production personnel then attached each of these fittings with over 250 high-strength fasteners in the proper orientation and location to receive the mounting lugs on the tip tanks which were fabricated by an SAI subcontractor. The completed tip tanks were brought to the aircraft and lifted into place for the final alignment and fit adjustment. Deliberately undersized holes were reamed to precise fastener sizes to ensure snug fit, design strength, and precise load control. Horizontal and top drag links locked the tip tanks into position on the wing against the three-axis loading, which was expected in flight and taxi operations. 
Based on extensive wind tunnel study, computational fluid dynamics analysis, and SAI engineers' decades of experience, the four-piece fiberglass wing-to-tank fairings completed the aerodynamic installation on the wingtips. The design optimized the end plating of the ailerons, the round-to-square transitions, and smooth flow over the tanks themselves. Each fairing set was fastened with over 270 fasteners to ensure security of attachment. After completing modifications, SAI engineers supervised the reweighing of the aircraft and establishing of its new center of gravity. Engineering personnel also verified their calculations on the empty and full tip tank center of gravities, dumping the water used in this demonstration to replicate the weight of 512 gallons of jet fuel. Ground vibration testing was repeated to collaborate the findings of the flutter analysis and to establish a flutter safe maximum flight speed. The computed flutter safe speed with a 20% safety margin for full tip tanks was 15 knots faster than the maximum speed used in the baseline testing. Based on Warner Robins ALC cautions, that the taxi condition had the narrowest of safety margins for the basic C-130H, SAI test personnel performed multiple taxi tests and accelerometer measurements at increasing tip tank ballast weight. The taxi speeds for lowest tip tank accelerations were carefully observed during ground trials, during which total wing loadings further increased with the addition of mission fuel loads up to three-fourths of internal tank capacities. The persistent HERC flight demonstrations were limited to 120,000 pounds takeoff weight by an SAI management decision. Despite the prerogatives of the experimental ticket obtained for this series, to observe the FAA airworthiness directive on C-130A flight restrictions imposed due to firefighting C-130A wing losses. Nonetheless, cargo compartment loads up to 26,000 pounds were flown during the demonstrations. Those weights were obtained with concrete ballast loaded on 463L system pallets as shown. On 23 September, N131EC taxied without concrete ballast and with empty tip tanks for a functional and instrumentation check and flight envelope re-verification mission at 92,000 pounds takeoff weight. The flight lasted over two hours and showed the tip tanks to have no adverse effects on flight characteristics at any intended demonstration flight condition. N131EC flew all three demonstration flights with concrete and water ballast and fuel loadings that brought takeoff gross weights up to or near the 120,000 pound limit. The much slower than published C-130A stall speeds observed at altitude indicated a substantial potential for shortening takeoff and landing rolls by accomplishing them at slower speeds. But that potential was insufficiently quantified during the short demonstration flight series for it to be investigated. The most severe ground loadings were observed during takeoff rolls and landing, and only one of those, on a landing, exceeded the accelerometer limit set for the demonstration series. That one spike was of very short duration and posed no threat to wing structure. The tank water ballast and wing fuel downward bending of the wings lessened progressively during takeoff, with the wing tank combination providing positive lift and dampening of tip bounce above 80 knots. The unexpected finding from the tip tank demonstration flights was the significant decrease from predicted aircraft stall speeds at all configurations. The SAI test team flew 10 stalls during the four flights to quantify accurately that change, which has been corroborated by wing pressure tap data. This finding has implications for takeoff, landing, ceiling, and cruise performance improvements, which should be further investigated on a C-130H or E airframe. During post-mission tower flybys for photo documentation purposes, some light turbulence was encountered. No adverse tank behavior or near-limit acceleration loads were encountered, although water ballast was dumped before every landing to stay consistent with C-130 operational practice. Predictions were that lightweight aircraft, empty tip tank loading with the higher aerodynamic lifting capability of the tip tanked wing might impose greater deflections and stress spikes on the wing's gust response 
those were not observed in any of the three tower flybys performed at speeds up to 200 knots. The successful demonstration of tip tanks originally designed for the much stronger C-130H wing on C-130A and 131EC at the equivalent of fuel weights intended for the C-130E and H and without any observed adverse structural consequences or adverse flight characteristics on the lighter C-130A, suggests that tip tank installations on more modern C-130s are feasible. The performance benefits emerging on these four flights can be expected to some degree on the heavier and missionized versions of the C-130. Further flight tests of the N131EC would be helpful in explaining and further quantifying the performance improvements seen. However, for accurate quantification of those benefits for the current Department of Defense C-130 fleet, a series of comprehensive instrumented flight tests should be flown with the tip tanks fitted and plumbed into the fuel system of a C-130E or H testbed. SAI estimates that a mature modification program could install a set of functional tip tanks in approximately 30 workdays. This concludes the preliminary video report of the results of persistent HERC-2 flight demonstrations. The quantified test report will be available after 11 October from Undersecretary Wynn's office.